more than 20 years have passed since I've searched these wild Italian landscapes alone. Years that I've talked their culture, lived their ways, and found myself that piece of me within it. But you cannot share this beauty alone. So after months in the making, this happened. from England and we've traveled about two and a half hours out of Rome into this place this medieval castle which is um, secluded in the Abruzzo National Park so we go into a little apartment home for the next few days gonna keep your heads down low here these are really really old houses I don't know how old they are three four hundred years old and the guys are in here we're getting Oh, there's the door closed. We're getting our gear ready and we're going to travel out. Again, be careful with your head. We're getting ready. We've got the fireplace going. We're about to travel out. Here we are, guys. Yeah, ready to head out. We've got Paul Thompson here. I'm sure a few of you have heard of him. And we've got um, Mr. Ed Rhodes, who's really good at hiding from the camera. And Tom Peters over there, ex photo ninja. Yeah. We're ready to go out? We are. Yeah? up to this mountain sections. There's this beautiful mountain we're gonna to go to. It's like that one from Iceland, that Kirkival mountain or whatever it's called. And we just stopped over the side of the road. <laughs> We've got a, unfortunately where we're staying tonight, the restaurant's closed. So I've got to go in and buy some sausages and, and pasta and, and cheese and that for the guys. We're gonna do a big cook up in the apartment. So we're gonna stop in this town first. taken the lads into Emperor's Field. I didn't want to come here today because looking from a distance it looked like there was just too many cloud cover and I thought look we've got time it's only five o'clock in the afternoon I thought we've got to get a bit of time before sunset so we'll come down to the Emperor's Field and see what conditions are like and if you look all these mountains are starting to open up and there's all these cloud formations just hanging all around there it is just incredible everyone's just I've just frankly just pulled off the side of the road Everyone's getting their gear out and we're going to try and capture this moment while it's here so um, I'll show you some images when I bring them up. This is, this is incredible, absolutely incredible. What a great way to start the trip. So we've just all got our long lenses out at the moment and just waiting to see if light opens up again. But these clouds are so thick, um, the sun's still up high enough so there might be a possibility we might get a quick little break in light and capture some nice little intimate shots of the landscape. Um, probably say we're going to hang around for about half an hour, guys, see how it goes, and then head back up to the mountain. But, um, we 
We've got to give the landscape a chance. Be patient and wait for the light. So we've been sitting here for about oh, half an hour and we're just capturing, everyone's got their long lenses out. Tom's over here with his 100 to 400. Paul's over here with his medium format and he's got a, I think a 200 mil lens on it. And we're just capturing just some of those intimate scenes. It's quite thick, the cloud now, but every now and then it breaks up and a bit of light comes out and just reveals something. We've got this hut in the background here that we're trying to, to concentrate on. There's Mr. Rhodes, Mr. Edward Rhodes. You remember him from Patagonia? And um, yeah, look, every now and then the light opens up and we just get just a beautiful little scene, just magic. We're just kicking back and waiting for that moment. So I'll take you over everyone's setup so you can sort of understand what we're doing. So I've got over here my, um, I've got my, my K33, Pentax K33, hooked up with my, um, DFA 70 to 200. I'm sort of in at about 150 mils and I'm just concentrating just on those mountains in the background there with um, with that little hut. Just as it opens up, you can see a bit of mountain in the background. It's really, really interesting. How's that new camera of yours going, mate? Yeah. So what are you concentrating on here? Using that hook, which is just off to the left of the frame slightly. Okay. And then I've got the light which opens up with the clouds moving yeah. through every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, really loving it. So you what in it? Seven, oh, it's 70 mils. So you only you got 30, mil. 35 to 70 out, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to try a little bit, something a little bit Yeah, different. get a bit of scale to the whole scene. Mm, yeah. Beautiful. Got any good shots, mate? No, I just tried different compositions really, but yeah. Sure, Tom, this one here, that was. Um... So Ed's got the Nikon Z7 II out, and yeah. he's just got a 100 to 400 um, lens, which he's purchased. How are you finding that 70 to 200, mate? That's Tom at 270 mil. Yeah, it's clean, isn't it's it? Sharp, isn't it? Sharp, very sharp. Yeah, it's literally the first time I put it on my camera yeah. lens. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable how light it is. You got any good shots? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a few yeah. intimate shots. I'm basically just um, using the hut to show the scale, pretty much. So yeah, yeah, this, okay. Yeah. Putting the hut down on my right-hand third, mm -hmm. and giving a little bit of breathing room around the bottom. Yep. Um, which is mainly in shadow when the light kicks in, and then picking my moment when the fog thins out enough and the light comes in at the same time mm. and just illuminates the, the mountain in behind. Yep, yep. We're pretty um, much all trying to capture the same type of scene with a little bit of a different yeah, composition. Yeah. And you've got what you. 100 what, to 400. 100 to 400, and you're zooming in at what, mate? I'm right out of 100. So at I'm 100. Out, I'm at the widest end, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because um, I want to show that scale. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get in too tight, do you? No, mm. no, no. Yeah, it's just that it offers. Well, I don't know about you, but I've took loads of shots already. So. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're trying to trying to capture, guys, and um, we'll see what comes out of it. I'll show you some raw images later on, and you can tell us if they're any good or not. So we're going to stay here for another little bit, probably another. I don't know, half an hour. Just depends what happens, really. But because we're in this field, it's called Emperor's Field. It's a big, huge valley with mountains all the way around it. And these, these clouds, um, this temperature, it's actually freezing now. It gets trapped in here. If you remember from the last video I did with Luigi, the blizzard, we actually shot the blizzard in here. And when we got out of the valley, it was clear skies. So if it's gonna stay like this, we're gonna move out. It's um, five to six now so i think we should probably start getting moving soon because we're going to get sunset at about eight if we want to go and capture that mountain i reckon um but it's getting thick now so i think we might call it a day soon and then head up into there so yeah let's see what happens wild italy
Well, that was good. That was good. I like that. Um, we've shifted away from that valley now. We'll come up a bit high onto this other edge and we're going to try and capture this mountain I was talking about. It's called Bolzer Mountain. It's covered at the moment, but we've still got a good hour before sunset. Hey, we've got a big mountain. <laughs> Oh, isn't it really? Yeah. Oh. Alright, so here we are. The guys are up the back there. The temperature dropped off by about 10 degrees. And as you can see in the distance, there's just all this um this is cloud cover over really and um we're just hoping it's gonna break and we can get the mountain in the background. If we don't, I'm sure it's going to be fun regardless, so we'll just see what happens. Hey, <laughs> just we're, Ed and I were having a chat now and we were just saying, mate, it doesn't look like that mountain's going to clear in the back, does it, mate? No, it's pretty full, isn't it, all the way through, so I think we'll head your backs and head this direction. Because if you turn the camera around and look at this, there could be some really nice... Over here. Yeah, it's clearing up over there. So yeah. we're going to go to this abandoned medieval castle where we're staying. And we might just get sunset in time. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. It's a gamble, but you know, we're going to play it, huh? We'll gamble to a bit. That was insane. Wow. So we basically drove in the car for half an hour and ran back up the top of this hill literally ran, I've got sweat pouring out of me and um, we just made sunset just basically as the sun kissed the bottom of those mountains and beautiful moment, beautiful moment I've managed to get some stills so I'll show them to you um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful moment we just got here in time, would have been nice to, to get here relaxed that's the thing, when your adrenaline kicks in that much, you don't know what your um your composition is gonna be like afterwards, do you? Because you don't have much time to plan it. But um, it's beautiful. And if you guys can see there, we've got the some of these clouds from down the bottom of the valley down here, which are, are coming up now and just touching the edges of these mountains. It's really, really nice. Um, so we're pretty much hit dusk and the colour is going to fall out of the sky within any minute so I'm going to try and get back and get an image or two and hopefully capture something nice. But... We're back at the room now. Um, the guy spent what, an hour shooting, um, what were you shooting anyway? Shooting the church. Oh the church, it was lit up, I hate artificial Fashion. lights, I got out of there quick. I'll come back and I'm cooking now, so we're going to have a beautiful meal guys. Chef Bishop. So, dinner, I've just um, sliced up some, some bacon that we bought in a uh, local shop today. Really, really, really good bacon. Then we've got... Uh, this is cream pecorino cheese, it's pure cream pecorino cheese, and I'm gonna mix it up with. Hang on, guys, hang on, hang on, hang on, not finished yet. And this is their pasta, their grain, they make their own pasta. So I'm gonna mix these three up, and you just see what three ingredients does to a dish. And if it's not good, we've got one, two, Three a bottle of wine. And if the pasta's really, really bad, and then we wash it off with a bottle of opium that Tom <laughs> kindly brought over with us. Guys, enjoy dinner. Cheers, mate. This is how it turned out. Looks like vomit, but um, apparently it tastes nice. Alright, yeah. How much time this morning? Don't worry. We'll put another two bottles of wine and whiskey to wash it down with. Bye bye for now.